Hello YouTube, it's me again, and I'm bringing you my final Dollar Tree haul of the year. Um, I probably won't be going back to the Dollar Tree this year because I've pretty much got everything I think I need, so I'll um, have to wait until January or next year until you see another Dollar Tree haul from me. Um, but with that said, uh, let's get into what I did buy. Um, I, this is actually um, two trips to the Dollar Store, to the Dollar Tree. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the Dollar Tree has been having all these fun uh, adult coloring books lately. So I picked this one. This one's called Yoga Lounge. Relaxing coloring for adults. Um, I like that they're... Um, like you get the color, the, the thing to color on one page, and then the other page is blank. Which means you can use markers and gel pens and whatever else. And one, it won't bleed. If they bleed through the page to the other side, you aren't ruining another um, design. And two, if you are using gel pens, if they bleed to the opposite side, you aren't ruining anything there either. And these ones are also perforated, so you could pull them out and put them in a frame or stick them on your fridge or whatever it is you like to do with your coloring books. For me, the, the joy I get is actually just coloring them. Um, the other thing I found on that trip are the Elf in the Shelf notebooks. Um, not, it doesn't really say how many pages are in here. It's probably their standard 80, but it uh, looks pretty fat. But it's a rather nicely thick note, notebook, you know. I, don't know, I just thought the, the design was cute. They're on Santa's lap, showing them their lists. Uh, and the last thing from that trip that I can show you, I did a lot of um, Christmas present shopping on that trip too, or rather gift bags and stuff, and I spent a day wrapping Christmas presents, so that's already been used, but um, the other one is these pencils that have latex free, eraser, free erasers. I didn't know that was a thing. But these are like... Um, sea creatures and sea animals. Like this one's just like water and bubbles. Um, these ones remind me a lot of Nemo. And these are like yellow with octopuses and crabs and things. And then this one's... I think this one's the same as this one almost. But they're still all cute. I like, I like them all. They're all still cute. Okay. So we'll stick with coloring books, because I did buy another coloring book, um, but it's not an adult one, it's um, the Marvel Unleashed coloring book, and this is just like the, the kids activity book, where you, you know, finish drawing Thor, there's also some coloring pages, like here's some Spider-Man, I'm not terribly big on Spider-Man, but there he is, so anyway, there's that, they also had crayons, um, uh, there, the big 48 count, but I've already got crayons. Um, more coloring was they had these furry art posters, and you get two of them. And what I caught my eye first was that there's a unicorn on one of them. Uh, the other uh, design is like a scene in Paris with the Eiffel Tower. In the window, you can kind of tell there, that's the top of the Eiffel Tower. Um, but you get the markers with it. And anyway, it's just kind of cool. And one kind of coloring related thing, but not really, is um, the engraving art, silver foil. I've actually got a couple of these, and I've been meaning to try them, but I do like the zebras, and they do give you one um, like practice sheet as well. And on the back it says something about coloring. You can create your own unique colors by filling in the area with one color and then apply another color over it. Just keep adding color until it looks great. I'm not sure what that's about because that's all it says. The rest of the instructions are um, um, how to go about engraving. Like it, the first part says experiment with different techniques using a practice board. Um, then it says begin at the top, work your way down, prevent fingerprints from being left on the board by placing a sheet of paper underneath your hand. Like it's got a lot of good hints. And then while working on your picture, brush off excess scraping with a damp cloth. So it gives you all these, and then it goes on to this coloring thing, which is just kind of random. 
um, and we're just now noticing my eye aligner really is obvious that it's not the same on both eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to also point out one more thing before I forget. My headband came from this haul and I had to pull it out and try it on because headbands have a tendency to kind of slip off my head. Uh, but this one is working pretty well. This is one where it's just, um, let's see if I can show you, it's got the side which way you're going to turn your head. Up until about here is this lacy stuff and then it's just the elastic band. But um, so far I'm really liking it and it's staying on my head just fine. Um, a couple other beauty things I picked up. They're not hair care, um, but I got some cosmetic wedges, um, mostly because I'm going to be getting into some products that aren't going to be very good for my brushes, or I don't have the right brushes for them, and it's only a couple of products, so I wasn't going to go out and buy a fancy new brush just for one little product, so I got these uh, cosmetic wedges, and these are just the triangle-shaped cosmetic wedges. And basically, you just you can just use them like you would like um, a beauty sponge, any kind of other beauty sponge. You can wash them and dry them and whatever. Um, speaking of beauty sponges, I can find them. Um, I've hauled a couple of beauty sponges from um, the Dollar Tree before. They were just like the round egg-shaped ones, but now they've come out with these that are more. Um, they look more like. The, the beauty blenders. They're kind of got the pointed top and the rounded bottoms and the little squishy on the on the sides. So I thought maybe I'd try one because I think my sponge is due for um, it, well it's done. <laughs> Even though I don't use it that often. It's been hanging around a while. So I thought maybe I'd try this one. And they do come in various colors. There was a green one, there was a pink one, but I like purple so I got a purple one. Um, now the rest of this is kind of like either like in the personal health side of things or stationary side of things. Um, I think I'll go with just like the, like the health kind of. That's kind of weird health, but I bought a couple of these um, kids snack containers. They're both the pirates because that's what I liked. Although the princess kitties were kind of cute too. Um, but maybe maybe sometime I'll go get a variety. But I wanted the, wanted the pirates. Um, basically, it comes with a spoon in here. But I just wanted some snack containers for myself. Like to throw some peanuts in or maybe some, a couple of pieces of fruit. Something along that line. Because I figure if I have had something fun because the, the ones... For the adults aren't as fun as this, and they're oftentimes smaller or way too big. That maybe I'd use them, and maybe I'd eat a bit, have a few more healthy snacks rather than just eating whatever's handy. Which around Christmas time, it's like fudge and chocolate-covered pretzels and um, caramel puffcorn <laughs> and just all that kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but the Dollar Tree has had jump ropes before. Um, they're mostly like kid jump ropes, but these, it's called a fitness jump rope, and it's nine foot, and it's got a guy up there, a uh, jumping rope, an adult, and it's the, and it's the rubber kind, and not the, not the nylon cord that the kids is usually, and got the grips, so I thought, you know, If I'd had a jump rope, maybe I'd use it. <laughs> okay. Now, the last four things are um, stationary sticker things. <laughs> um, these, they've had a while. These are just like the dot labels. Um, I'd figure um, that I could, you know, um, a lot of the dot labels for planners have like the little symbols on them. I figured I could just, you know, write the little symbol on it and then stick it where I needed to stick it. Um, you know, uh, there's 315 pieces in here. They're blank, so I, I don't know. I figured they'd be useful somehow, and that was the the original idea was to just write the little symbols on there and then stick it where I needed to stick it. And the last three things are actually kind of exciting because I've never ever 
found these things in my Dollar Tree. Ever, ever, ever. And these are the regular sized washi. I found the skinny ones, the, the ones that come like seven in a pack, but I've never found like the normal sized ones like these ever. So I had to pick, well, I didn't pick up the Cars one because there is a Cars one, but I got the, the, the Tsum Tsum. I got the Disney princesses and the minions. So I was really excited to find those. Here, I'll show them to you on the side. Maybe that'll give you a better idea. Because I've never, ever found the regular-sized washi tapes in my Dollar Tree. So I don't know if this means that they're getting them, or if it was just a one-off, or what's going on. But really excited. Okay, so that is the end of that bag. Both bags. That was two little Dollar Tree hauls. Um, I hope you found this helpful, or useful, or at least entertaining. Um... And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next year for another Dollar Tree haul. Bye.